Morning everybody. We're going to start with procedures today. In topic 1, I'm going to look at just a short revision of functions. What is a procedure and why we use it. And then I'm going to have a look at any existing procedures that you've already encountered. Um, so both a procedure and a function would fall under the category of modules little sections of code and we use these modules or sections of code or procedures or functions to then divide a big task into smaller more manageable sections very often um, there would be a team of programmers developers working on a solution so if we give the entire job to one person and the rest of the people are sipping tea and looking at that poor fellow he would have a terrible job so now using procedures and functions and many other tools like classes that we are only going to encounter later on we can divide a big problem up into smaller more manageable tasks and then very very often tasks that would be repeated we can place into a procedure or a function depending on the use and um, put that at a, some specific place in a class for example and then we can call that procedure or function from our programs or applications when we need that okay so procedures and functions used to break up a big problem into smaller more manageable tasks um, they are used for different purposes we'll see that in a moment and then um, we have used procedures already we'll see we so a function will process something specific it would have one specific job um, get the smallest of two numbers for example or calculate the square root of this or calculate the sales price or something and then very importantly this function a function will always return one value for me so when you talk to anybody in programming it doesn't matter which language which they use a function I call the function to do something specific I very often give it data to do that job so I send data to the function but then very important a function will return one value to me and when I call the function I need to do something with that value for example um, if I go have a look at the sphere volume program that I did in functions the example I'm calling the function there and I'm saving the result that the function give me back I'm saving the volume that the function give me back I can do other things like display it immediately but for beginners it's it's really advisable to save the result that the function give you so whenever you call a function it's always to the right hand side of an equal to sign and I'm going to specify where the data must be saved that the function returns okay procedures on the other hand what do they do the, again they will do some specific job for me they will process something specific a procedure on the other hand will either return no data at all so I can use it to only do something for me then it would return no data or a procedure would be used to return multiple values so more than one so that means two or more right so that's the job of a procedure either just go do a job for me or go do a job for me take this data and return two or more results okay function only one a procedure then two or more or no data at all 
When does it do no data? We've already experienced these in the past. If I go have a look at any of your VB programs, me.close, close is a procedure call. So here I'm calling the procedure. And this procedure that I'm calling um, will close the program for me. It is coded um, in the form class. So I'm just literally calling the procedure to say close the current program. Over here I'm calling a procedure called clear. This procedure would be coded already in the text box class and I am just calling it to delete the contents of the label. I do exactly the same over here calling the procedure and this procedure doesn't return data. The last procedure that we've used already is the focus procedure. So this procedure puts the cursor on the text box which name we gave over here. Okay, so these are all examples of procedures that's called. So a procedure to just do a job for me. Um, these procedures doesn't take data and they don't return any data. Have a look, I didn't specify variable name equal to when I called the procedure. That would be wrong. This procedure, procedure doesn't work like that. I put the name of the procedure on a line on its own. Um, procedures never return data via the procedure itself. It's going to use parameters and we'll get to that. Okay, so in short, when I call a procedure, it would only be on the line on its own. These procedures belongs to either the text box or to the form. That's why I um, need to specify the name of the text box before the focus to call the procedure for the specific text box or then for the form. If we then go have a look how to call a function that receives data using parameters a summary we're always going to have a variable where the data would be stored we're going to use the function name and then a list of variables comma separated list would be used so if I need to send number one and number two to the function this is how I'm going to do it specify the names of the variables and they would be separated by a comma separated list. If I need to call a procedure that receives no data where we merely need to specify the procedure name if this procedure was called in a coded for a specific object so for the text box we need to proceed the name of the text box before the name of the procedure so clear method was coded in a text box. I need to call the clear method for a specific text box, proceed the name. But if we're now going to code procedures and call them, in our programs we merely need the procedure name. If I am going to call a procedure in my own program, that receives and return data, normally they're going to do both. Not just return data, but receive and return data. I'm going to do it as follows, the name of the procedure and in brackets all the data that must go to the procedure and re be returned. So if I, for example, need to send number one and number two to the procedure and then get the sum and the difference and the product back of the three numbers. My call to the procedure would look something like this. 
but I will elaborate on this in the next section. Thank you.